Oh well, yeah, a couple of uh, toroid rings which are identical here, yeah. and uh, I'm going to apply them to my circuit. They were basically I've got my uh, transformer here, yeah, which we're pulsing at 15.42 kilohertz, and it's off the chart. Now, uh, what I'm doing is one wire coming all the way around and into this neon then from that neon I'm going across one side of a bifilier coil and I'm cutting straight across to the, uh, the B side using a couple of diodes and I'm charging up a 5.5 volt 0.22 farad capacitor then I'm discharging my dual sleeve through that capacitor through a 1k resistor and we seem to be getting about 2 volts at the moment it is climbing a little bit but uh, I don't think it will climb much more so we're actually getting usable power from that one wire coming through at resonance because you can see that they're uh, they're both lit quite nicely. Now uh, the other side of uh, this bifidio coil here, what I'm doing is I'm going all the way around and up to an antenna, which is basically just a bit of foil now uh, I've got it at uh, X height at the moment I'm going to try exactly the same experiment by uh, lifting the height of the antenna to see if we can get any uh, more out of it but, uh, it's looking good so far uh, we've got light from uh, the one wire as it were now uh, if we still have a look at this on the scope it's completely off the chart if I uh, detune this we can uh, we can see where it is and if I miss with the frequency that's the high frequency we can get and then put it back to where it's normally meant to be so that's the highs we're getting so we're actually on 2.02 volts at the moment it does fluctuate it goes up and down but uh, and that's from lighting the neon and obviously the jewel thief so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm uh, I'm going to raise the height of the antenna and see if we can get uh, higher volts from it so I'll do that now Something that quite surprised me was like uh, the higher the antenna, the larger the voltage you were getting across it. I've uh, moved the antenna now to be all the way up to the top there, and uh, if you follow that all the way down, it's in exactly the same place that it was previous. Uh, the neon. To the eye, it looks a little bit brighter, and if we have a look at the uh, the lights here, I think they are slightly brighter, and we are definitely getting a higher voltage, which keeps on going up. Now I, I don't know if that's going to keep on going up until it's the uh, the voltage of the capacitor or not. Uh, if it does, then that's fantastic because. Uh, that means we're going to get uh, full power out of the uh, dual thief. But uh, the thing that I had to do was uh, I had to change the frequency uh, to make sure that uh, the wave was off the scale again. And uh, as I said before, what I did was I uh, turned it down, moved it up and down until it looked right. And then moved it back up again. Right, so 
Ne? Ne? Getting uh, 2.24 off this, and it's continuing to go up. I'm going to do one more section in about uh, 10 minutes to uh, see what the peak will be. So I'm going to wait for to do that now. I'm, I'm actually finding that the uh, the peak here is actually half of what. The uh, capacitor is, it's only just started going up since I went near it, so it was very stable previous to that. Anyway, I'm finding uh, that's still nicely lit, the neon, and also that's looking uh, bright as ever. So we're getting that uh, usable power from one wire from a transformer which is in resonance and the resonant frequency we're using in the end is 15.02 and that's kilohertz that's great then yeah thanks for watching